Jackie, a Live Life Aberdeenshire librarian. It's climate week and library assistant Jade has made a film to show you how to make a water planter using a recycled milk carton. Follow Jade's instruction to make these for your garden too. We also have information about climate change you can read. It's available from our digital library. The link to the information will be provided at the end of this film. We hope you find the information useful in raising your awareness regarding climate change and the simple things you can do to reduce your carbon footprint. So for today's craft, you will need a plastic bottle, some PVA glue and a pot to put it in, some coloured pens, a paintbrush, a piece of felt, some tissue paper, and also a pair of scissors. Remember, if you are using scissors, please make sure you have an adult with you to help and make sure you are holding them correctly. First, you will need to take your empty bottle and draw on the outline of your character using a black marker pen. Today, I will be making a unicorn, however, you can create any character you wish. You will then need to cut this out. This step can be quite tricky, so you may need an adult to help you. The easiest way to do this is to pierce a hole in the bottle away from the outline of the character that you have drawn, then cut around the circumference of the bottle until it is in two pieces. This will make it easier to cut around your outline. You should now have something that looks like this. Yours may look slightly different to mine depending on which character you decided to create. Now you can start decorating your character. You will need to pour some PVA glue into a pot and then cut your tissue paper into small pieces like this. You can use as many different colours as you like for the step. Today I'm just going to use two. I will use the pink to make the unicorn's horn and the blue to make its body. To apply the tissue paper onto the bottle, you will need to take some PVA glue onto your brush and then apply a thin layer over the bottle. Then, all you need to do is take pieces of the tissue paper and apply these over where you place the glue. Here is how it looks after applying one layer of the tissue paper. You can stop at one layer if you wish, however applying a second layer will help to make the colours look more vibrant. Remember, if you are going to apply a second layer, you will need to let the base layer dry first. This is how it looks after applying the second layer. You will need to leave this to dry before moving on to the next step. Now that everything is dry, you will need to add a mouth to your character. Draw this on using a black marker pen roughly 5cm from the bottom and make it 5cm wide. Then take a pair of scissors or something sharp like a craft knife and cut this out. This step can be quite tricky so you may want to ask an adult to help you. You should now have something that looks like this. Now that the base of your character is finished, you can decorate it using coloured marker pens or you can cut out features such as eyes and teeth from paper. Here is what my finished character looks like. As you can see, I cut out a pair of eyes and ears and then stuck these on. To make this into a self-watering planter, you will need to take a piece of felt and place your bottle on top. You will then need to take a black marker pen and draw around the circumference of your bottle, leaving a space wide enough to fit the mouth. From here, you will then need to draw a tongue-like shape and then cut this out. You should have something that looks like this. Before adding the tongue to your character, you will need to add around 4cm of soil to your bottle. Then take the tongue, fold it in half and pop it through the hole for the mouth. All you need to do is pull this through into position. Then continue filling the bottle with soil until around 1cm from the top and add your plant. To make sure that your plant stays watered, take a small bowl or tray and fill this up with water. Then simply place the tongue of your character into the water. The felt will soak the water up into the soil and will help keep your plant hydrated throughout the day. 
And there we have it, the completed self-watering bottle planter. I hope you've enjoyed making this craft. If any of you would like to send us any pictures of your finished planters, please do and send it to the email on the screen below. Thanks for watching!